What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so we, uh, yeah, we went through a lot right here, and uh, well, I think we managed to get ourselves another badge right here. Probably, I don't know. Completely forgot. It's been a while. Kind of hungover. Uh, well, in this episode right here, we are going to go to the Castro Force, I believe, because we haven't even checked that one out right there. So. Let's see, let's go right ahead and take a look at uh, the Castro, Val uh, Castro Forge right here now. I believe this is where you need to go. And, what? Now that's the wrong place. This guy is looking for a Pidgey. He wants to trade him for a Chansey. Completely forgot about that, too. So, let's see. Where to go to next? I think, yeah, we already been to the gym right here. Hold on. Yeah, we... Yeah, we already, we already went to this gym. Okay, so I'm starting to remember what happened right here now. Uh, let's see. Let's go straight to the Castro uh, Forest right here. Now, if you guys are wondering why I completely forgot about this place, it's because, well, it's been a while. And, well, those guys, those bug catchers are not messing around. And Okay, so here we are going into Castro Forest. And bugs in this forest can be dangerous. Hmm. So you mean to tell me that there's going to be more, uh, well, there's going to be better better freaking, uh, uh, what was it? Better bug-type Pokemon for this forest, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, a Scyther. You know, it'd be nice to go up against a Scyther. And he's like, my Weedle isn't good enough here. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's walk around and see what this Castro Forest has to offer. And, well, we're getting attacked by our first Pokemon right here. And, uh, we got a fully grown Venomoth, which is pretty cool right there. So, I am uh, going to escape. Just make sure to have some flying or flying ice or, uh, or uh, fire type Pokemon. And here we have somebody ready to attack us here. And he's like, hey, you dare challenge me? <laughs> Love the way how he just like, you dare to challenge me and all that stuff. Okay. So here comes a Parasect level 33. Holy crud. Okay, so they weren't joking around about this. So let's go with a fly attack. Alright, bring up that scratch attack. Here we go. Fly attack. Does its trick. Say goodbye to uh, Parasect right there. And, well, let's see. He's about to use a Scyther. Okay, so Scyther's a little faster. Let's go right ahead and use a uh, Master right here. And, well, let's see. My Pokemon's up to a good level. Let's go with a Flamethrower attack just to make a uh, Scyther... Feel the burn right here, and look at that, Scyther has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, and Master is just kicking some ass right here, so I'm, I'm loving I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. And why does this bug fail? I don't know. Let's see, hold on just a second. Am I missing someone right here? Yes, I am missing somebody here. I got Mega Con right here. And... Yeah, I kind of need a specific Ice type Pokemon for this situation. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go get myself my Lapras back. Alrighty, guys. So we're back. And yeah, they weren't kidding about the Pokemon that are in here. Um, <laughs> yeah. The Pokemon in here are pretty strong, fully grown, and uh, they could be a... Uh, you know, a nice addition to your team if you guys are into bug tap Pokemon. Now, I'm not going to put on a Repel because I kind of want to see more. I've been seeing a lot of Beedrills and Venomoths, so I kind of want to see what else we can actually find right here. And let's see what we got. Another Venomoth right here. Okay, so here we have Kathy back onto the team. And it looks like it won't let me escape. And this guy, okay, so it, it's, it, it's starting to give me a little bit of uh, issue so let's go right ahead and use an ice beam now Kathy can grow levels multiple levels around this area because it was a traded Pokemon and well let's see let's go right ahead for a bubble beam this guy's going for a tackle let's go bubble beam for the win alrighty okay so I guess it's best to put on a repel because we kind of don't need that mess right now so let's go right ahead and do that and let's just walk around now. My Pokemon could get attacked still because of uh, its weak level, but it is what it is. And here we found ourselves a mushroom. And what do we have? Yo, 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 yo! Uh, some nice dialogue right there. Okay. 
So here we go, taking on another bug catcher, and he's coming out with a Butterfree at level 31, and well, Kathy, looking like a beast, ready for an Ice Beam attack, and well, we all know how Butterfree likes to mess with your, uh, <laughs> yeah, likes to mess with your, uh, your, 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 your stuff. And well, let's go right ahead and go with the Bubble Beam, and there's that Stun Spore, holy crud. Okay, come on, let's go. And so far, oh god, okay, so, yeah, we're not doing, yeah, okay, here we go, bubble beam, let's get it, and there you go, say goodbye, and look at that, Kathy grows a level 25 right here, and well, we're about to take on a bee drill. so let's go right ahead and go straight to Hurricane right here, because, well, we still need to grow to level 30 with this guy, and it's just a battle of who is faster and so far hurricane is doing his stuff so here comes a rage attack which misses and here's a fly and Beedrill still on its feet and here comes a pin missile attack critical hits it's gonna keep on hitting me quite a few times all right let's fly let's fly and here he's coming with a twin needle but it doesn't work say goodbye to Beedrill I'm happy Oh yes, and well, let's go with a Venomoth. Okay, so we're gonna just continue on right here. And let's get this. And well, of course, we're gonna get poisoned. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm wondering, how is a Venomoth faster than a Beedrill? I kinda wanna know about that. And well, the fly attack takes its effect, but Hurricane is still getting hurt right here. And a Disable attack disables a Sand attack, but guess what? We're okay, we're still okay. Alrighty, okay. Fly attack does its trick. Goodbye, Venomoth. And right now, welcome to the level 30 club, Hurricane. And, well, Catcher, Book Catcher has been defeated. And, well, let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Let's see, we got Super Potions, which we kind of need on Hurricane. Kathy can survive. But I got two Pokemon who are hurt right now. And, Jeebus, Criminy! You would think that I... Oh, God. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta get more healing items and all that stuff. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm back, baby. And, well, uh, it turns out this last hit, he did not have a... Uh, yeah, I did not have a Pokemon Center. Or, no, not a Pokemon Center, but a Pokemart. So, we're gonna... We actually... Uh, oh, gravy. Really? Okay, never mind. Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay. So, yeah, there was a... Yeah, we, 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 we couldn't find a Pokemon set or a Pokemart in the uh, Casco Valley. So, yeah, we had to go... We had to fly somewhere, and I completely forgot that, yeah, we could fly now to different towns. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that for quite some time. Maybe finding some new Pokemon here and there. I don't know. Whatever whatever really hits me and all that stuff. One thing's for sure. I am going to uh, visit the, uh, the casino because I need to check out what Pokemon you can actually get in the casino. Now, I'm assuming that there should be somebody here. Nope. Alright, we're getting attacked by more Pokemon. And we're digging on by a Kakuna. Alright. Let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. Alrighty, um, yeah, like I was saying, let's go ahead and put on a repel because we don't really need this, and, uh, alright, let's just run around here. I don't know if we're towards the end of this whole location, but we found ourselves a nice item, a trade stone, if you guys don't remember. That can actually be used to evolve any Pokemon that go through trades, and luckily for us, we actually have one in our PC, and we have one right here, so let's go ahead and use it on good old Ultra Psycho. So it is finally time. Ultra Psycho, we don't need to trade you. We just need, we just need an old uh, trade stone. Now that's awesome right there. And as you can see, we got ourselves an Alakazam, a very, very broken Pokemon. And well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Ultra Psycho, in its final form, and its special is all the way up. So just, uh, yeah, you don't want to mess with this guy in special form and all that crud. Okay, so let's move right ahead. And there's a stairway down there. What the heck? Alright, so I'm going to go there eventually. I'm just going to pick up some items, see what goes on. I don't know. And there is a Pokemon trainer. So before we go here, there, we're going to go here, see what this is all about. Huh. Huh. So this might be the exit. So let's go right ahead and take on this guy right now. 
Alright, let's see. Let's see. Alright, first is first. Let's go right ahead and move Kathy to the front. That way we can actually, you know, grow this Pokemon's levels and whatnot. So, here we go. And he's like, hey, wait up! What's the hurry? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so here we go, going up against Bug Catcher, and he's coming with a B drill. Alrighty. See what you're all about right here. Let's go with an Ice Beam attack, but here comes a Pin Missile. Doesn't work. Ice Beam hits it pretty hard, and well, let's go straight for a Bubble Beam. Le Bubble Beam right here. And it still doesn't work, so let's go right ahead. Bubble Beam again. And there you go. Say goodbye to B Drill, and we got ourselves up to level 27. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, okay. So, yeah, we're really good at this. Uh, let's see. Sometimes you can find stuff on the ground. I'm looking for the stuff I dropped. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you dropped a lot of stuff, homeboy. A lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, so there's an exit right here. And many people, uh, Pokemon live in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds, which is true. And can you tell me the way to Castro Valley? Obviously, is up upstairs. And there's my phone yet again. And, well, there we go. We're getting a text message, as always. And I don't know where we're at, but we it looks like we need Surf right here. Good gravy. Okay. Yeah, we do need Surf, which we kind of don't have. So we're going to have to go back up here and... Yeah, we're going to have to... Hold on just a sec. Put it on another repel and go the, the other way, which is the stairway. And there we are. And this has changed colors. What the heck? Okay, so where in the blazes are we? Huh. This is all brand new. And what the hell? Caught you by surprise! Okay, so that right there is a little... <laughs> it's a little weird because he just didn't look at me. He just, like, ran up to me. Okay. All right, let's go right ahead and start defeating some Pokemon right here. Here comes a, a focus energy attack. And, well, let's go with the Reflect. So that, that way we don't get hurt or anything like that. All right. Ice Beam for the win. And, well, that Reflect doesn't... Re or that Reflect actually helped us out right there. So, an Ice Beam attack gets it. And it's frozen. Eat that. Eat that, freaking Raticade. Alrighty, alrighty, so Kathy's kicking some butt right now, especially for a traded one. And, well, he's about to come out with another Raticate, so we all know where we're going with this one. Let's go straight for Bruce Lee. It's been a while, man. I, have, I haven't seen you in quite some time. So, let's go with a double kick. Holy crud, its power is unlimited. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, power unlimited. And there goes Bruce Lee winning, and here he comes out with another Raticate. So, I guess we're, we're going to be going up against some more interesting evolved Pokemon right here. And that's one. Bruce Lee goes with a two. Look at that. That's right. Okay. Alrighty. Never mind. We just kick some butt, take some names. And there's a fat Pokemon that comes down from the mountains. It's strong if you can get it. Huh. You don't say. Now, wow, getting hit by a Pokemon right here. And we find ourselves a uh, Drowsy, which we kind of don't need right there, so. <sighs> okay, let's just uh, move on ahead and take a look. Oh, wow, there's a lot of Pokemon trainers right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to complete all this and see what goes on. Uh, let's go right ahead and see what the town map is telling us and this right here is route 62 so we're making a big old u-turn in an area where we've never been before so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time